Google announced their own chatbot part. First, it was OpenAI with chatbot ChatGPT broke the internet. Then recently, China's biggest search engine Baidu also announced about their own chatbot. Now it is Google. Fight in generative AI is really getting intense. Do you know ChatGPT had reached 100 million monthly users on their platform, becoming one of the fastest growing app in the history. Microsoft really helped this company in their initial growth. They invested billions of dollars into it and their recent biggest investment was of dollar 10 billions, which is an insane amount and it is one of the biggest investment of this decade. This allows Microsoft to use OpenAI API into their open software like Azure, Excel and Office. But it is not just their software, their biggest plan is to revive their slowly dying search engine Binge by integrating ChatGPT into it. And this time Microsoft really got the chance. If their plan goes accordingly, there is high chance that many people will shift from Google to Binge. It is already in rumors that ChatGPT has, but it takes to beat Google. Let's see what happens. People absolutely love it, the experience they got from ChatGPT. No ads, no need to check multiple sites for an satisfying answer. Just ask and you will get the most effective one in an instant. These are concerning topic for Google. Google may have not shown their traffic report, but it seems like that there is a slight decline in the number of active users on Google since the release of ChatGPT. Google is generating billions of dollars from their search engine and they just cannot watch their platform becoming less appealing to users. So on Monday, February 6, CEO Sundar Pichai announced about their own chatbot named Bard, a direct response to ChatGPT. Bard is similar to ChatGPT, it uses similar natural language processing for generating responses. Which I said, Bard processes from the internet to generate output responses for input user queries. Bard can, for example, do things like explain new discoveries from NASA James Webb Space Telescope to children, best strikers in the world, or who won FIFA 2022. We know ChatGPT is limited to the information of till 2020, means it cannot give you details about the most recent activities like FIFA 2020. But in case of Bard, it is not. It will provide you the details about the most recent activities in the world. It is also said that BARD will be integrated into Google search engine for giving a better experience. By this integration, we might see these interesting features on Google. First, improved search result, natural language processing capabilities can provide more accurate and relevant search results. Second, enhanced user experience, user can interact with the search engine through natural language conversations, making their search engine experience more fluid and efficient. Third, increased user engagement means it can provide additional information, answer follow-up questions, and make recommendations, potentially keeping users engaged with the search engine, find what they are looking for more quickly, reducing frustration and increasing satisfaction. New revenue opportunities by providing a more engaging and useful search experience a search engine incorporating with chatbot could potentially generate new revenue stream through advertising, e-commerce or other means. I hope I have covered the details about the chatbot part and the things that might happen in the upcoming months after its release. That's it to this video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.